Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and I'm testing this chat application that you can see right on the right side of your screen. I have a test that logs into the room and uh, sends a couple of messages. So the test is pretty nice. It sends hello, I'll be right back, excellent. Leaves the room, goes back. I can inspect every step of the chat application by hovering over commands. And as I hover, I see something weird. Example, I see that I'm typing hello, and then I'm clicking send, and then I'm getting the sign message, right? And it finds that it's from Joe, right? But notice there is something weird, right? Let me zoom in. The message is not displayed. Only part of the message is displayed. Even though part of it is visible, right? The hello that it finds is not actually visible. It only scrolls down later, right about here, when I'm already pressing send for the next command. And when the me next message appears, it is visible, but I cannot quite see it right there. Then I'm leaving the room, I'm coming back, and I see both messages right there. So why are the messages partially abstracted when the test is running? I don't think this is right. So in order for us to understand why the messages are animating, let's look at the source code. So the thing that I like doing is searching for transition. So I see form button has a transition. Okay, that's okay. Uh, controls, okay. I don't see anything related to the actual chat messages. So whatever we are animating, it's not done for CSS transition. What else? Well, we can look at the main, we can find the message, right? And we can say when we click on the button, when the user hits save, right? Uh, it's probably displayed somewhere. And it probably is added to the list of messages. Okay, so we'll say, and let me just find where, it's, okay, right here, chat history. Right, so we're adding the new message that we just typed into this chat history list. And notice what happens here. We're using jQuery, we are appending the new HTML, the new LI element, and we're using slide down to animate it. So it's not CSS transition, it's JavaScript transition. So let's slow down a little bit. So I'm gonna save it, and now notice that those messages don't even appear. Right? And we can actually see it ourselves. I'll say hello. And when I click send, notice the slow transitions. I think, uh, yes, 20 second transition when the message element slides down. Now, Cypress thinks everything is good because it doesn't detect JavaScript transitions. Let's look at the markup though, because that's where we'll see the actual implementation. And that will give us a clue how to wait for this transition to finish before we continue with the test. So I'm gonna select this element and uh, one suspicious thing that you might notice are these empty style elements. That's one clue that something is weird. And let's say buy and I'll click send and notice the style is animated. So the JavaScript in jQuery, one slide down, changes the computation and sets the style attribute. And that's how these messages are animated. All right. And when the animation is finished, the style attributes becomes empty, the animation is done. So that gives us a clue how to make sure that the test waits for it. So I'm going to change it to two seconds. And in my messages, right, every time I click send and I check the hello should be visible, I'll say and have attribute style empty. All right, so let's see how this works. Notice the animation, right? Let's do it for the second message as well. Should be visible and the attribute style should be empty. And notice on the left how it waits for the animation to finish before the test runner continues with the next command. So this is how you ensure that the test runner doesn't run ahead of application, waits for the style to be empty. That means uh, JSS, not JSS, JavaScript, uh, has finished animating the element 
and when the test runner accurately captures on video.